The start of the new year means the start of new laws, and despite the pandemic and a shortened legislative session, state lawmakers did pass some changes that took effect this morning. Reporter Grace King offers a breakdown of those laws and how they may impact you and your family. We haven't seen a sharp increase in the rate of vaping in teenagers and high schoolers, especially over the last five years. As of January 1st, the legal age to buy, possess, transport, or consume tobacco is now 21. That will mean that high schoolers can no longer have an easy access to vape products, such as um, electronic nicotine devices, e-liquids, vape pens, things like that. That brings Tennessee in line with the federal tobacco age. The legal purchase age under federal law is already 21, so this is just simply matching it up. There are other new laws in effect as well. Under the Holly Bobo Act, Amber Alerts will now include missing or endangered adults under the age of 21. Another requires the Department of Veterans Services to provide suicide prevention training to employees who directly interact with veterans. 911 operators in the state will be trained on giving CPR instructions and allowed to walk callers through it in emergency situations. And finally, the Tennessee Pregnant Workers Fairness Act began on Friday. That was designed to help expecting mothers receive temporary, reasonable accommodations at work if their doctor recommends it, unless it'd be a hardship on the business. Some examples include having a stool to sit on, extra bathroom breaks, and temporary limits on lifting. I'm Grace King reporting. This weekend, Tennessee's newest members of Congress will be sworn into office, and that includes Senator-elect Bill Haggerty and Congresswoman-elect Diana Harshbarger. Both won election in November, and they replaced outgoing veteran lawmakers Senator Lamar Alexander and Congressman Phil Rowe in the 1st District. Knoxville.